Hello, fourth grade. Today we're going to take the notes that you did last time and turn them into a slideshow. Uh, we're not going to worry about the formatting. Today is just about getting all of the information that we found from our uh, research about the state and putting it into a slideshow. This is a skeleton slideshow. That means I'm giving you the bare bones. Um, the next time we're going to work on the look of that slideshow. So we'll, we'll see how it looks and all that kind of good stuff. So let me show you um, how to put that information that you gathered last time into this slideshow. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is find the notes that we took last time. That will be in my, uh, my post from last time as well. You can open up in Google Classroom the previous time's post, or whatever, whatever day that was, and open up that Google Doc. I've returned it all, so even though I saw a number of you turn it in, which is great, um, you can open it back up again and you should be able to see and edit all of this information like so. So that's step one. Now the other step then is you're going to have to also go into today's assignment. So yesterday's assignment or last time's assignment will get you the notes. Today's assignment is going to get you a copy of this presentation. This is my bare bones skeleton presentation. And what I want you to do here is we're going to kind of flip back and forth. So we're going to have this tab open and we're going to have this tab open. We are going to go in here and we are going to edit just the, the content of these slides. Don't worry about the look and the pictures yet. We'll get to that next time. So I'm going to go in here and erase uh, you know, the, the words that were there and write my state name. And then I'll write my name in here too. So we're going to say... Okay, there we go. If you need that link um, to the old uh, or to the culture grams where we got all the information, that's found here at the bottom as well. Also, it's found in that previous uh, classroom assignment too, if you didn't finish for some reason. Okay, so now we're going to go through each of these slides. I've kind of broken it for up for you. So here's our fun facts. Here's the nickname and established. I'm going to look at my notes here. Okay, so named Iowa, the Hawkeye State, that's the state nickname, 1846. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to say uh, nickname is the Hawkeye State and it says established 1846. All right, and then I'm going to get some facts. Did no facts, name for the Iowa tribe, popcorn produced in the U.S. Okay, so you can go through and you can write those in here. But I'm also going to show you a trick, right? So since you've already typed it once, here's what you can do. It's a kind of way to uh, speed things up, all right? You can click what you've written, highlight it like so. And once you've highlighted what you've written, if you take your mouse and right click, a right click would be like two finger touch, two finger tap. Um, it's not really a tap, it's like a touch. Two finger touch on the trackpad right clicks for you and here you can see where it says copy. Now if two finger touching is too difficult, you can also go do this. Highlight the text, come here to edit, and in edit I also see copy. What that does is it's going to copy that text onto what's called the clipboard, and the clipboard is a place that the computer can remember lots of different things, everything from text to whole files. Now I'm going to go back into my state presentation here, click where I want to be, and now I'm going to come up to edit again and paste. When I paste it, now it's, oops, now it's going to paste what was in there into here. Now don't worry about the look. It's, it's fine if the look's not quite right. You can also click and drag, or click to highlight and drag different things in different spots too. You can erase different things. Maybe I didn't want that like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good right there. If the if the font really bothers you, you can always highlight the font like so, and change it up here. Let's see. Let's click and change it to a standard size. What size do we want? 18. Yeah, that looks good. What size is this? 18. Okay, that might just save you a little bit of time on that one. So I'm going to do the same thing with the place. Here's the spot for my climate. So I'm going to come to where I have my climate. I'm going to highlight there. I'll either right click or I will copy it. And then I'm going to put it here. So I'll paste or right click and paste. Great. Once again, you can like go in there and erase things or you can add things. Maybe I want to have this down here. 
here's my little bullet points up there. There we go. Bullet points like that. Okay, that works. Uh, here's the geography. So highlight, copy, and paste. This is okay because this is your own work. Like I, it's actually not okay if I was to try and do this from the actual Culture Grams website. Is it possible? Yes. But is it your work? No. This is your work. This is the, the notes that you took. So it's fine for you to copy and paste from your own work to your own work. But it's like not cool. You're copying, you're kind of stealing if you were to do this on a website and actually take the words from the other author and put it into your own stuff. So that's why, um, I mean, it's 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 okay for you to copy and paste. Copy and paste is, like I said, a, a an important tool for computer users like yourself. But just make sure you're using it wisely. Don't copy and paste from other people. Copy and paste from yourself. Okay. So your job then is to go through. We're not going to worry about the background. We we will change the look next time. But I just want the text in all of these different slides uh, for today's work. 